So this is Jonathan Gillen with Ars Technica, and we're here in New York looking at some rather interesting alternate fuel vehicles. Uh, tell us a little bit about your solar race car. We're all students, and we're from the University of Calgary solar car team. We've gone from the ground up. We've designed it, we've built it, and we've also raced it. So you can run this completely off of the sun. So you could go approximately 30, 35 miles per hour, and with perfect sunlight, you could just go at least 20 hours probably indefinitely. If you need more charge, it also can act as a solar hybrid, so you can always plug it in, just like any other electric vehicle out there. So it's just like a supplement on top of if you want to go faster. How big are the batteries and, um, and what sort of power motor is it? Okay, so the batteries are lithium ion, so uh, fairly standard. Um, and in terms of a kind of size, it's about 120 pounds worth of battery. It will be 14 kilowatt hours. You get like the full IRS rebate, I think, on that. Also keep in mind, with 120 pounds of batteries and the car weighing 630 pounds, it's pretty significant weight. The whole body is all carbon fiber. Um, certain parts are Kevlar just for electrical conductivity, so carbon fiber conducts electricity. We wouldn't want that with high voltage. Right. And I understand you guys have been quite successful racing the car. We have just raced in the Formula Sun Grand Prix in Austin, Texas. That was on the Circuits of the Americas track. Yeah, we ended up ninth place. Um, so middle of the pack, pretty good, considering we had a cruiser class car. So what a cruiser class means is it's a more practical car. So it seats two people, you have trunk space, that sort of thing. The other cars did not necessarily have to have that. This is more of a car than yes, those, I think. For sure. Even doors is an innovation in the solar car world, so. There's actually quite a lot of room in here. It took us approximately one year to build okay. and also one year of designing, so right. it's about two years total. We built the mold for those seats and we also did all the carbon fiber work for them as well. Is there anything interesting we should know about, about the solar panels? These are similar to your regular ones, so they are um, monocrystalline silicone, so they're, they might be a little bit higher efficiency because it's, um, A, we got higher efficiency ones by baseline, so 23.9% efficient. Um, however, there's a special texturization. You can kind of see it. There's this checkerboard pattern. And they're slightly rubberized. Yeah. What that does is that at the light, at very severe angles, it actually reflects the light back into the solar cells because um, there's a huge difference between straight 90 degree light and just like 45. With today where it's overcast and we're in Manhattan with its canyons, how does that compare charging the battery to, you know, if you were at Kota on a sunny day? Uh, definitely less, for sure. Um, could be half or so, approximately. Um, however, with a battery pack of our size, it's not an issue. The styling of the car, was it CFD, wind tunnels, or...? We've been in short supply of wind tunnels, so it was uh, mostly CFD. The thing with uh, CFD is that it's, on, it's very approximate, so we can compare models, so this one is better than this one, but we don't know exactly what's going to happen right. like once you get out there. <laughs> I guess the tires are very narrow and... Um, so, yeah, they're very thin tires to lower the resistance. Are they spec tires that everyone in the same class has to run, or...? You can source uh, different tires. Okay. There's a list of approved ones, and then there's also ones you can just ask for permission to use. There are only a couple big companies that do it. Right. And does the car have a name? Uh, this is the Schulich Delta. So this Schulich is Delta. our fourth generation vehicle. Okay. How long have you got how long have you been on the team? I've been on the team since I guess the fall of 2011. So this is coming up on my fifth year on the team. Okay. For your actual control of driving mm -hmm. uh, is actually just two dials. So similar to like a dial you would use to turn up the volume. Uh, one of them controls your acceleration, mm -hmm. and another one controls your deceleration. Right. And then we have a mechanical brake for emergency. But basically, this type of uh, deceleration, we can actually generate power back. Right. So okay. So that just cha yes, you change yeah. regen now. Okay. Basically, we have our power switches, so we basically flip these on in sequence to make sure everything powers up in correct order. Mm -hmm. Implemented this nice backup camera. It's yep. A nice 10 inch screen, nice HD video. So. Uh, that backup camera is a lot better than the one I'm carrying 650S that drove two weeks ago. Yep. <laughs> Which is, and then your instrument displays, you just have three. Yep, three, three up there. just standard, kind of four line displays. Mm -hmm. and just shows me everything I need to know while I'm driving. If there's any errors, helps me, you know, figure out what's going on so I can reset the proper thing and diagnose the problem. We just bring uh, air in through uh, actually our wheel wells. Okay. And uh, I do have a driver control fan that pulls a little bit of air and then. Most of the rest of the air track, we try to funnel it back. So the American Solar Challenge is 2,800 kilometers, or I guess about 1,800 miles, or something like that. And how many of you split the driving? Um, generally four or five drivers. 
Are there any physical brakes on it, or is it all yep. just regen? Uh, no, there is physical brakes, okay. because the regen is, like, it's not a sudden stop. It does it very, you know, kind of a gradual manner. Right. So it's nice if you're just coasting and, you know, you start going down a hill, just regen a little bit. Mm -hmm. So the suspension is not optimized for New York potholes. Nope. <laughs> uh, we're always trying to optimize for power consumption, so... More of the, like I said, the electrical. Gotcha. I find the motor technology we're using very exciting. Like, mm -hmm. These motors that we're running, if you get them, you know, near the top efficiency point, are rated up to like 98, 97% efficient, right? So you can compare that to like your internal combustion engine, that's, you know, unreal, right? Right. And, and what, how many kilowatt motors? Um, these are actually two horsepower each, roughly. Okay. Nothing too powerful, but when your car is only 630 pounds, right? I mean, when you have two people in here, it actually, you know, substantially right. increases the weight, right? Yeah. So. Copy that. <laughs> it doesn't go back in time, sorry. <laughs>